finally going to be home for an indefinite amount of time. I don't know. I don't have any plans to leave. So it's time to get back to work. You may have noticed that there's been less videos this last month. Well, it's because I've, I've been out of town most of the time, but I've been managing to put up a few videos. So in the last video, I built this, the mantle on the legs. And I had to take it to the customer's house, made it there just in time. They liked it and they didn't want to change anything, which was which is good news for me. So today, I got a little bit of a head start. I'll show you what I've had to, what I've had to do. This piece here was the mantle. And it was pretty good, but um, the wall isn't exactly straight and I want a very tight joint. So what I've just done is made a new one of these uh, a quarter inch bigger, wider. And what that will allow me to do is to scribe it to be real tight to the wall at the, on the fireplace. The goal today is to have this entire thing 100% painted and ready to be delivered and installed. Final installation tomorrow. So I've gotten a, a head start filling nail holes caulking it in and finalizing the install. These blocks here are all glued and nailed together, 18 gauge nails. They all still need to get caulked in. I think that's what I'm gonna work on now. Um, this is what I'm using for my nail holes. Fast drying, no sanding. Well, I'm gonna sand anyways. Won't sink or shrink. Well, um, it worked good on the last one. The last one I used from some wood filler and it did shrink. So I used my big bucket of wood filler that I keep underneath that bench over there. And it did shrink a little bit. So I had to do two applications and that's, that's fine. So what we're gonna start off with is one application of this on the nail holes. We'll get everything else caulked in, sanded, primered, and then we'll get a real good idea of how good this worked. <laughs> Even though these are pretty tight, um, just going to squirt a little bit of Dynaflex Ultra in white right in there. Pushing my pinky in there, I don't want to like a beveled look to it. I just want it nice and tight. So now that everything is caulked and filled, it's a little chilly in here, so I'm gonna leave it for like an hour, go run some errands. I have to get the wood that gets attached to the face of this mantle. And when I get back, I'll get that all on and glued and then start sanding priming, painting. I'll probably get a fire going, getting this place up to 80, 85 degrees in here so that the paint dries. We'll be back in a minute. Got a new gadget. Any of you guys seen this? Little pinchers. So what I'm doing here is getting ready to wrap the front of this mantle with uh, this pine here. This is paint grade. Everything can get filled and painted, but I'm just uh, practicing. So let me bring it down closer and show you what this thing does here. So what I want to do is get this miter joint perfectly put together uh, so that I can mark my cut down at that end and also mark this cut here. I'm going to use this little needle pinching device. We're going to see what type of damage this does. Now, if it's the size of a nail hole, that's fine. We're going to fill and, and paint everything anyways. Not sure how useful this would be on a softer wood that's going to be stained. Okay, what the heck. Right there. Okay. Do I have it in the right spot? No. It wants to fold that way. that spot look? That spot looks pretty good. Now, oh, 
I gotta pull this rubber band out. Rubber band came with the kit. I'm not sure why it's on there. Alrighty. When I cut these miters, I always cut them long and then go back and forth to the saw and just ease up on it. And I'll, I'll have the this piece here cut a little long with a 90 on it, or 45, and just keep working it in together until it's dead on in that corner there. You can have it long, but you can't have it come up short. Paint grade, you might be able to get away with something, but uh, this is just best practice so that when it comes down to, to cutting stain grade wood, um, I'm more practiced at it. This is what I mean by sneaking up on it. Got the other end clamped in place, and now I'm just taking, oh this is going to be like a half a blade, but I'll probably go with just a quarter blade thickness and a quick shave and um, come back and test fit it. Hey, here we go. Clamped at the other end. And now I got, it's, uh, it's actually perfect. There's nothing more I could have done to get a tighter, more accurate fit. So I've been skipping ahead of you a little bit. I've got these all all made. And these two are mounted. And I said, you know what, I'll probably just pop the camera on and show you how I mount this last one. Uh, first thing I do is, this is vinyl. And I sand both sides with 120. And uh, reason for that is I need it to glue. I'm gonna glue it and nail it down. And then I'm going to paint it. I need the paint to stick to it. What you want to see when you open up your can of paint. So that is shot right there. No, no bueno. I do somehow have <laughs> what's left in this. This is what I sprayed the the last fireplace mantle with. That's probably enough to get maybe two coats on one coat. It's not a lot. It's, this one's much smaller than the last one. But before I spray the color coat, I have to prime it. So I gotta find a spot to put whatever amount of paint that is so I can get my primer out. Hopefully, oh boy, gotta open up the can of primer. I may not be painting tonight. Okay, we're all good in here. Yeah, I'm getting real close. Guns all cleaned up. I got the old color paint out. 
you mix up the primer pour the primer into here get this a good consistency I'll add maybe a little bit of water and we will be spraying you tell it's a little thick I'll have to thin that down a little bit to get a good spray Hey, not bad for a first coat. Kind of working out the kinks of the system of positioning, things like that. So now it's hot. I'm going to fill that up. Fill the, fu the fireplace up. Keep the heat going. Get some air going. And uh, I should be able to sand in about 30 minutes. I'm going to go edit a video. And come back out, do another coat sand, what did a video, keep going back and forth for the next three hours. Okay, I'm getting ready to start primer coat number two. Now, even though my positioning and moving around the workshop is, well, it was all, it was a cluster. That coat of paint actually came out pretty decent for the first coat. Kind of a close up. Keep in mind this will wet out and any of that that stipple there will go away. It'll flatten right out. It was a heavy, heavy coat. This one might need some more. This side here is okay. Would have liked a little bit more. I think I missed something up there. A little bugger. Finally back on the road. Today, I've got the primered mantle system. And uh, I didn't end up putting a color coat on which is good because once I got it out in the daylight I noticed that I could see the seam on the mantle 
from the MDF to the actual real wood, there's a fine line there. So that's going to get sanded, filled, sanded, primered, and finally color coat. Um, when you start working long hours and you're staring at the same piece of work too long, <laughs> you like miss, miss simple things like that. Um, picked up a whole bunch of stuff for tiling. Supposed to tile the backsplash, tile around the fireplace, and tile is not in. And I was like, yes, yes, because I, when I go on vacation, I break my cycle of work. It is really hard to get my, get back in my groove. So today is a good day to get back in the groove and not start a huge tile project. Uh, so today is kind of going to be a short day. I'm going to test fit the mantle again. I'm going to cut out the baseboard. I'm going to scribe the back of the actual mantle that goes up to the wall. Bring it all home and uh, I'll probably draw on the wall where I'm going to put my cleats. There's going to be cleats on the inside of those legs that that's how they get stuck to the wall. They'll also get uh, glued to the wall. Um, so yeah, it's a simple day. I did pick up some of the tile. They had 50 pieces of the tile that goes around the fireplace. So I'll get to deliver that. And I might drop off the thin set, and buckets and stuff like that. So it's a good soft start because I've been pretty much off of work for a month. Um, I come back for a couple days, leave for a week, come back for a couple days, leave for a week. Um, but now I'm back. I'm back for a long time. Long, long time. Like I don't have a day off scheduled uh, at all. So I gotta get get my rhythm back, get back in the groove, get the mental mindset that you're working every day indefinitely. Uh, but the uh, the money, the money and the financial security is uh, it'll pay off here in a good six to eight months.